Wow. Hit record with a blind mind. <laughs> Shit. Today I saw an instance of insecurity, of control. I used to be a very fearful person. Insecure, very insecure person. When I when I have a girlfriend, she had cards from an ex or something. Maybe she's holding on to them because she still loves them. That's bad, 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 bad. Very bad, very, very bad, bad. <laughs> she can't love them. She can only love me. But you see, what happened was that in life, I was living the very limited spectrum. Right in between here. Very small segment of life. But life itself is way the hell out there and in here. It's expansive, all inclusive. But by me trying to limit this spectrum, trying to say, you can't do this, that's wrong, that's bad, 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 was me limiting life. And so that's been reflected in me so much lately. And I see like my exes can't talk to me. He's gonna steal you away from me. <laughs> you can't talk to other men. <laughs> you give back what you've been given, so I see it now. I see it now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I'd have known better, I'd have done better. And so we try to make an unlimited being limited. We try to make something that was born with all the space in the whole fucking universe confined into our image and beyond that we try to demand that they fucking agree with us we demand that shit <laughs> use whatever power we can to hold that God's telling me you better act this way. I'll catch you looking at a motherfucker. I'll fucking kill you. Hey, don't be talking to my girl, motherfucker. I'll fucking bury you in a fucking lake, bitch. The full spectrum of life. If you loved me, you wouldn't do this.
If you loved yourself, <laughs> you would not be in that. You would go find what is conducive to you and not force it. Not say, if you loved me, I'll fucking kill you. God told me. It's right here in this book. But if you allowed life to be life in its fullness, then it's very hard to try to bring it into one little location and make demands upon it because it is all alive. If you don't believe me, I'll beat your ass. <laughs> uh, uh. But I love you. Look at all I'm doing for you. Look what I've suffered for you. So you owe me. Do you look around and think that life owes somebody something? The only thing that's owed is you to yourself to not control it. You guys has got a girl. Do you give her the freedom to be with her ex if she wants to be? You want to be with him? Go be with him. Get to know yourself. That if you don't want to be in that relationship, that type of relationship. If that happens, that you want to be with them, okay, that's fine. But I'm not going to be a middle person. I'm not going to be a back and forth, the swinging door. I'm wrong with respecting yourself and your own conditioning. There's something wrong with trying to force conditioning upon another, although they agree with it. It's just such a sad state that I used to be in. What do you need to talk to your ex for? You don't need to look at them. You don't need to talk to them. What, you still got feelings for them? What the fuck? The other half is that that person needs to be very honest with themselves. Do you still have feelings for your ex? And chances are that that person is like that because you probably denied that you had feelings for your ex and that a guy like me is the only one. And then it, it goes disproven time after time. And so there has to be a brutal honesty. Hey, I got this and this. I've got nothing to hide. And there has to be a brutal acceptance. Brutal because it kills what resists 
that acceptance. She's allowed to have this, these feelings. It's the full spectrum of life. I'm allowed to dislike it or not dislike it. She's allowed to go talk to her ex, have coffee, whatever the hell she wants to do with her ex. I'm allowed to like it or not like it. And in a lot of cases, just the ability to do that. It makes her freaking so happy. Because we are free beings. Now we're born with all the freaking space in the world. You look at a baby, what's their limitations? Nothing. And then you get in a relationship with them and try to make them have little fucking limitations. When they're adults. How, where the, how the hell did adults lose their limitations? Why? How? Fear. Because now they're old enough to fear. They're old enough to attach. And then that gets played against them. It gets played against me, it got played against people I was with, probably got played against you, and maybe the people you were with. So if there's one thing I can do, one thing I'd like to do, See this hand right here? It's got such a tight fucking grip on all of whatever it thinks is supposed to be, right? Just fucking hmm. feel that shit. Let it go. Let the full spectrum of life right in there. Flow through the hands. You ain't holding on to none of it. Let it be as it is. For the other, take your space. You were born with this space. Take it. But be honest about what you need, about the space you need. Don't go pretending that. I don't need this or whatever, trying to protect your ass. When it's not threatened to be physically harmed, <laughs> that'll be another talk. Well, that's probably part of this talk if the guy's listening. Because dudes, really, really, if you have to control something, it doesn't love you. You can't force it to love you, and you don't love it. Because you're controlling it. Don't say that you do. Try no bullshit like that. You know in your heart. Just as life is it is as it is, so is the person in front of you. They are as they are. Trouble comes when you try to make them as they are not. When you try to avoid your little feelings from getting hurt, your little heart from getting broke. 
because you can't see what's on the other side of that pain. Life is on the other side of that pain. You don't have to control it. You don't have to fear. In fact, it's infinitely more beautiful when you do let go of that fear. When you do let go of that control. I didn't just say like one or two times more beautiful. It's infinitely more beautiful. Meaning you will never stop seeing the beauty and releasing that control, that fear. But you will always see the ugliness in control and fear. Man, infinitely. It will always manifest itself in your relationship. You'll see it in the tears of the person you're with, of sorrow, of hurt, of pain, of anguish. You will hear it in the voice, the tongue, the words, the rage, the anger, the sadness, the sorrow. Are you brave enough to find your happiness? To allow yourself the full spectrum of life. To allow happiness to the person that you're trying to control. Are you allowed? Are you ready to take that freedom, that space? that you are, the expansiveness that you are, to stop being in this little fucking box. When did you start being in control? What were you prior to that? When did you start controlling? What were you prior to that? And what will you both be after that? <laughs>